Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export data from SQL Server to Excel file after skipping few rows using c .net. So we can write the code either inside the c -sharp console app or we can also copy and paste the same code inside the script task in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Kushbu and she asked like if you want to write an Excel file by skipping few lines then how we can do that. So I thought to make a video on this one so let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server instance I got an email table here and the email table contains 1000 records. So I want to export the data from this particular SQL Server instance to an Excel file and I want to skip the first 10 rows in the Excel file and I will be writing the code inside the c console app and you can also use the same code inside the script task in SSIS. So let me open the c console app. So this is my c console app that I will be using today. So I actually already written the code and I will be copying the code from here and I can paste it inside the c console app and I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well. So I can copy the code inside the main method okay so it seems like it is missing some namespaces so what i can do i can add the namespaces using show potential fixes using system.io so the error has gone for the stream writer class and for the sql connection uh, we need to add the using system.data.sql client so the error for the sql connection is also gone and now it seems like we are missing the namespaces for the excel file so to add a reference to the excel file we need to add a reference here so I can click on add reference and if you click on the com component then here you can type excel so there is a library microsoft excel 16.0 object library so I can just check this one and I can click on ok so that the reference to the microsoft.office.interop.excel can be added here and now I need to add a reference to this particular library so I can actually copy the reference to this particular DLL and I can paste it here and now all the errors are gone okay so let me close this one so that we can take a closer look at, at the code now let me briefly explain you the code what we are doing here so the code will start from the main method and in the first two lines these two lines are related to logging so in case if the process will fail inside the try block then an error log file will be created at this particular location d files logs location okay and now inside the connection string we have provided the SQL Server instance name and the database name where our SQL Server table exists and we are using the Windows authentication connection here and this is our SQL Server query which will be used to pull the data from the SQL Server table so you can pull the data from multiple tables as well like you can join the tables together and you can pull the data and this is the Excel file path to which we will be exporting the data to so in case if you want to export the data to another file then you can also export the data to another file and I think before writing the data the excel file we can check like if file dot exist and the file path so if file exists then delete the file so file dot delete okay it will make sure that the file will be recreated every time the process will run okay and now what we are doing here we are making a connection to the SQL Server instance here we are opening the connection using the SQL command to connect to the database using a SQL query and here we are using the SQL data reader to read the data from the SQL Server instance and here we have created few instances of the Excel and now because we want to skip the first 10 rows from the Excel file thus we need to provide a value 10 plus 1 means 11 so if you want to skip the 20 rows then you can provide a value 21 here okay so here we are adding the headers to the 11th row and then from the 12th row we are adding the actual data to the excel file and then we are saving the excel file closing this excel sheet and in case any error will occur then the control will move to the catch block and it will create an error log underscore current date time dot log file and it will write the exception method to the error log file so this is the code that will be executed here I think I added one extra bracket here so I can remove this one yeah so this is working fine now so I can open the d files location and at the moment we don't have any file here okay so let me click on the start button and it should export the data from the SQL server table to the excel file and the first 10 rows should be skipped so the process ran fine and I can go back to the D files location now so an excel file has been created and let me open this particular excel file so 
so here you can see that the first 10 rows has been skipped we have not inserted any data from here and from the 11th record it inserted the header information and from the 12th record it inserted the actual data so if you want to for example skip the first five rec records then you can provide a value 6 here and the value 7 here okay so this is how you can make it work and I will share this code with you so that you can download it from the link in the description of the video so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much